Hello, this is Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys a great program called Wind Patrol. It's been around for about 15 years, almost as old as me, and it's a great software, and a lot of the features that are in it are great for computers today. It's a free program, comes in a couple different versions, a free, a family edition, and then just a plus edition. So if you like the software, I suggest check, um, buying it, supporting the developer, and because it's absolutely great software, um, it's been highly recommended by a couple different big websites. So to download it though, for the free version at least, the free version has everything that the other ones do, X minus a couple, but mostly has everything the other ones do. You can go to Win Patrol slash download, and you can go to the top one and click the download button. It's a very small program and it's absolutely great. Now Wind Patrol is is a software that's kind of there before your um, antivirus. It's there to um, allow you to optimize your computer and block things from installing and messing your computer up. I'll explain a bit later what that is. But here, um, the install, you don't have to fill this out by the way, you can just install. You can see the install size is very small. Once it's done, you can feel free to launch it, and it will load. So I'll go through all the tabs. Now the first one I'm going to show you guys um, before I even start showing you guys tabs is the coolest feature in my opinion, which is in the corner here you'll see it, which is um, Scotty is currently on patrol. Um, the Scotty will protect your computer um, really well. Right about now you'll see a picture and what that is is any time a program, um, good or bad, tries to um, change your you know, startup, anything like that, um, add, add an entry, remove an entry, change something, it's going to pop up and say it's doing that. You can click allow and it'll just allow the program to do its thing or you can deny it. Now you may think this is a bit annoying. It actually isn't. You know, it doesn't come up that often. Um, but if you're installing, if you have a virus that comes onto your computer and tries to put itself into your startup, so it always turns on, then this is going to um, deny it that access. So it's kind of like you know a little patrol over your computer. Now I'm going to tell you guys, Win Patrol does not scan your computer for viruses. It's just simply an optimi optimization program. Alright, so now we'll go through the tabs. So the first tab is the startup programs. These are programs that boot. Right? When, as soon as you turn your computer on, they come up. So um, you can go through and see the ones that you, you don't like, kind of like, you know, that, that kind of stuff. And when you use this program for many years, um, the first detected is actually useful. You can see when you, had, when you installed it, that kind of stuff. So what you do is, when you don't want one, then when you look at one, if you don't want it, you can click the remove or the, the disable or enable button. Um, I have disabled this one, but you can go enable it. And if you don't want it, just disable it. And we disable it, it will automatically um, go to the bottom. Now, if you're not sure if you want it or need it or not, what you can do is just right cl or click on it and there's different options, but one of them is info. By clicking that, it will bring up um, some information about it. You can go to expand info kind of tells you stuff and a nice thing about it is you can click the create note and type in your own information like this program is very necessary or whatever you want to write or you can go to plus info and brings them to the website and you can see what people voted etc and read about it The next tab is the delayed start. This is a very cool um, program, or sorry, very cool option. Um, so let's say you have a program that you need it to run, but you don't use it that often. What you can do is you can have a delayed start. By having a delayed start, essentially, instead of having everything start, let's say you have 10 tasks that have to start um, when your computer turns on, you can have like two of them turn on within like half an hour of your computer turning on. And by doing this, it's essentially going to allow your computer to boot up faster and get to your desktop faster. And then later when it's like idle or something, you know, the other ones will just load silently. To show an example, I'll click add. And I'll just use this program right here. 
choose you know I'll use this program this user only and then I can right click it and go to delay start options and I can choose you know how long I want it to take so I can I can give it a specific title I can go I want it to go in 30 minutes I can give it sort of certain parameters and if I have any certain options with the window I can click that as well if I need to run this program as administrator I can also do that of course if you don't like this you can just right click it and click the remove option which will um, prompt you click yes and it's gone this tab is probably one of the more useless tabs um, on here um, obviously when this program came out Internet Explorer dominated the internet browsing market um, nowadays it does not obviously but if you still do use it then you can go through and um, edge your plugins and stuff like that now I don't use it myself or you know, I don't really know anybody who actually does use it but if you do use it then this can be useful um, these will be things that uh, your plugins and toolbars are all, all come up with will all come up here you can go to info and view what they're about or you, of course you can easily just remove them the scheduled tasks links with your Windows task scheduler and shows you tasks that are scheduled so you can see last, last time they're run when the next time they're gonna run the company that kind of stuff so you can do the delete file and reboot open program properties which is the simple properties and of course you can go to the info tab and bring up more information about the program under service services here we have the services and you can go through and like us why no cool feature with this though is for example let's say you have the iPod um, with iTunes uh, iTunes installs a certain service um, for your iPod slash iPhone and without that service then it actually will not plug in well it'll plug in but it just won't work properly it won't be recognized so using this though you can actually delay that startup of that one and kind of push it back which can save up some boot time active tasks are um, certain cur current ones that are available um, obviously you know I have cam quarter running Chrome a couple different stuff but if I wanted to I can just easily kill a task and it's gone one thing I forgot to mention in the services tab you can go to the bottom here and click this and that's gonna bring up the Windows services you'll see the manual or the list gets much longer and that's because it has now added all the Windows services unless you know what you're doing I wouldn't suggest going through these um, but these ones are basically there for Windows to work. If you kill some of these, then you might see features or stuff go away. Cookies, these are obviously just the cookies. So um, you can go to you know, whatever browser you use and click view cookie and you can see exactly like you know what you use. File types, um, these are kind of um, programs are associated with particular file types these ones are different than your default programs tab these are like special ones and you can go through and change them that way hidden files these are files that are hidden in your Windows system it's a good idea not to mess with these because they're hidden for a reason and the reason they're hidden is so that you don't mess them up and then we have the recent tab which is just the recent um, programs so you can see to help clean re recent malware infections so anything if you start if you notice that something's going weird it's just started you can go here and see okay what's the last thing that was activated um, and these aren't programs you guys can see that most of these things I actually did not just run um, these things were run like a minute ago without my knowledge and then sometimes it's okay because these are just you know part of the computer the services but you know if a virus is in there you can go through here and see what's the recent service just ran and you can see it the next two are um, for only plus users and they are for active X controls and this is a software registry editor I believe and then of course this is for if you want to upgrade to their so um, plus software and the options we have a couple different things like detect changes and warn of changes in internet host Chris and files and then you have Scotty's options so you can play sounds that kind of you know easy stuff if 
you go to the wind control log um, it's a text file you can just open up whatever um, default software in that browser and you can see all kinds of stuff now it's very long and you're not going to read through all this probably but you can see um, your log and it, it does change and updates now I just installed the software so you know for me and for you probably it's not going to be a big deal um, but once you use the program for like a couple months that's when it can start picking up on good information so you can also go to view the host file which is kind of nice and of course the hijack log which is for hijacks so this is a log created by wind patrol it scans your boot and then it will also notice any changes that have been made Anyways guys, that's below for this video. Uh, I suggest checking out this program, play with it yourself, um, try it out, and of course, the system resources on this thing are very, very small. Um, I'll pull up my task manager for you guys. You can see that, um, for me, I'm at 8%, but I am recording, so that's gonna, you know, increase that, obviously. And, but really, um, this program barely uses anything and I suggest checking it out. And besides that, guys, have a great day. Down link is in the description below. And see you in my next video. This is the Hacker Triple O Seven, and I'm signing off.